Welcome to Diamond Education Hub's Teaching Tips, sharing teaching ideas, resources and advice with teaching professionals, helping them to improve their practice. Becoming an outstanding practitioner is definitely dependent on your approach to teaching. What is your overall aim? Is it to deliver an outstanding lesson and get that outstanding grade? Or is it to make sure that each child can access the learning and learn something new? This will also include consolidating and reinforcing their learning. If it's the latter, you are on the road to becoming an outstanding practitioner. So here are some of our top tips to help you on your journey. Tip number one, make sure your lesson has a starter where your pupils can practice skills or develop their thinking skills. Try and create a starter that sparks curiosity and gets them excited, enthusiastic and motivated to learn. Tip number two, differentiate the learning objective and success criteria where appropriate. Tip number three, make sure your students understand what they are learning, why they are learning about a particular topic, and how it fits in with the sequence of lessons or the sequence of learning. Tip number four, make sure you have a good understanding of where your pupils are. So make sure your lessons include assessment for learning and your marking and your next steps are all up to date. Tip number five, use the student's prior knowledge. New learning will need to be fitted into existing learning. This is so that new links can be established. Without these links, learning will be very limited. Tip number six, start simple to make sure everybody is on board and then expand. During your direct teaching time, use your TA effectively. Get your TA to work with your more able or your less able during your direct teaching time. If your students don't need that particular area of teaching that you're delivering during your direct teaching time, let them work independently or supported by your TA to maximise learning. Tip number seven, break learning into child-friendly, bite-sized chunks. Students remember and learn more from an experience that they enjoyed. Tip number nine, Maintain a good steady pace throughout your input. Make sure your input includes assessment for learning to check your students' understanding. Tip number 10, make learning active. Too much teacher talk will make learning passive. Tip number 11. Get your students questioning, discussing, thinking and doing. Tip number 12. Build in support strategies for children that need more help. Tip number 13. Always have high expectations of all of your students. Extend their learning and enable a deeper understanding of each subject. I hope you found these tips useful. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.